on how to leverage video for prospecting. What are the what are the three areas? What are your questions? So you uh, you would want to learn how to get responses. Okay, cool. Because you're casting such a wide net, right? And it's just there's just that that's the biggest one, right? If you can get a response, then that means they're engaged and they want to move to the next step, like learn more. We can get an actual date locked for a meeting as part of the response. I mean, then that's that's a really big next step. The background, I think the duration is really big. Right? Duration. So, Bye bye. Someone once said something to me and they opened up the story saying, I'm going to start with the last sentence of what I'm going to say. <laughs> Chances are the person on the other end of your emails, they have a responsibility to improve and optimize their business. And if there are vendors and solution providers like yourself that have something to offer, it's in their best interest to at least do the research to understand what the opportunity is. That's where you come in. If you can provide a clear cut value proposition in a visual method that they can watch, understand, consume, and even share, the chances of you getting a booking are dramatically increased. Humans are inherently social creatures. They love to network, interact, converse with people. That's why we strike up conversations in elevators and at bars and at restaurants. The same applies for video. In video, you have a chance to strike up a conversation. So we always recommend that people be authentic, people be relaxed, calm, really focused on the value and creating that relationship. The typical dynamic of a seller and a buyer ends up in a dynamic where the buyer wants to ignore the seller. It's noise for them. They don't want distractions. They don't want sales aggression. They don't want someone that's pushing some agenda or something to sell upon them. They'd rather just discover stuff on their own, hear about things through word of mouth, do their own research. Knowing that fact will be your best tactic when it comes to building trust, creating relationships, and driving more sales. Humans are also inherently visual by nature. When they can see something, it makes a lot more sense for them. Whatever business that you're in, you have some form of social proof, some sort of validation, something that they can see to know what the value and the true opportunity of your solution is. Someone once said something to me, and they opened up the story saying, I'm gonna start with the last sentence of what I'm gonna say. They had my full attention. I was so intrigued that they were gonna cut through all the things that they wanted to say to say the last ultimate conclusive statement. Since I heard someone say that, it inspired me to always respect people's time. People's time is their most limited resource. You've got like a little spider on your lens. On oh, my lens or on me? On your lens, not on you. Or is it on me now? Oh. It's important to remember that people's time is their most valuable resource. So why not start with the most important sentence? Start with the punchiest thing that they can't afford to miss. That way, at least if they only watch a certain percentage of your video, they get something really valuable. It's kind of often that someone doesn't need to watch the entire video to move forward. If you can figure out ways to create hooks that people can't live without, they have to quote unquote, turn the page in your book, encourage them to book a time in your calendar so that they can actually learn the rest of the story. One way to boost your click-through rate is having a really interesting background. It doesn't have to be crazy, but just a little something catches your eye. So whether it's putting a little bobblehead figurine behind you or putting up a cool picture of a beach against the back wall, having an interesting background will make that animated thumbnail GIF a little bit more engaging. If you're using Dub, the first three seconds of that video is going to be embedded into your email as an animated thumbnail GIF. Increase your click-through rate to your video landing page. One of the biggest things when trying to get bookings from sending videos via email is removing the friction on allowing people to book a time in your calendar. So there's a couple of different methods that we recommend. Number one is provide a few times that work in your calendar. Let's say that Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. work really well for you. Include that into the body of your email or even in the video. And then they can choose a time that also works for them which facilitates the whole booking process. The next thing, if you're able, is to integrate a calendar page onto your video landing pages. Whether you use a service like Calendly, Acuity, Outlook, or even HubSpot, consider adding your calendar below your video landing pages. Following up is essential in sales. We all know that. Following up with video allows you to create a connection with people. We received so much positive feedback where people got a booking, got a response, got a sale based on sending videos. One of the reasons why data tracking is important when prospecting with video is because you can determine which people are watching what videos and how much of those videos that they're watching. If someone is not engaging with your content, don't keep sending videos in the same format. Pick something else, maybe even a different channel. Instead of emailing them, send them a video on LinkedIn. Or if LinkedIn doesn't work, maybe even try Twitter. But that said, you should always respect people's privacy and their time. If you're noticing that people are watching your videos but not responding to you, that means that they're interested, they are engaged. They just don't have a clear call to action from you. Try sending different types of video content with more frictionless calls to action. I think the key to using videos is that you can actually do a better job to see the most convertible prospects, the ones that mean the most to you and your pipeline. By sharing information, value propositions, and even your pricing, you'll pre-qualify your prospects and thereby save you a ton of time in the prospecting process. There's really two types of audiences that you can send videos to. The first 
is cold prospects. These people have not heard from you. You're a stranger to them. That's a very difficult task because they don't know who you are, they don't know what your company is, and they don't know what you're offering. If that's the case, we recommend adding high levels of personalization and value in the videos that you send. Make it something that they can't live without. With warm prospects, you might already have information about what the prospect is interested in. Based on that information, you can create content that's specific to their needs and their business. If they're warm and if they responded to you in the past, it makes sense to invest time into the content that you create. People love to know that you created a video just for them. What a lot of people used to do is hold a sign up with the person's name. We're excited to offer something called personalization text. This is a digital way to add persistent text directly on a video thumbnail in the body of an email. This way someone can see something personalized for them with their name and a message that speaks to them directly. It even works on the video landing page as well. So as they click on the thumbnail GIF when they go to the video page, they'll see that same text. When your prospects realize that you invested time and money into them, they'll appreciate it. And they'll feel a certain sense of obligation or inspiration to wanna to reach out to you, to respond to you, and to book a time to speak with you. As your prospects move down the funnel with you, so does the type of content that you're providing to them. If you're at the top of the funnel with your clients, you want problem solving information. As they move down the pipeline, they're gonna want more social proof, validation, ways that your business has worked effectively for other folks. And at the bottom of the funnel, they're gonna to wanna to have frictionless ways to engage with you, to actually work with you. So sending proposals or contract walkthroughs is gonna help them to understand what the future looks like. And that will help build trust and increase the chance that they become your client. Yes, personalized videos is ideal, but you can't always do that. When you're in a scale situation and you need to get in front of a lot of people, it makes sense to record evergreen videos that you can use for multiple prospects. Another tip that we recommend people is to create automated workflows. The great thing about automated workflows is that you can simply add a tag to a person's name and then have an email with a specific video go out to them. You can even time delay a series of videos in the form of an email drip sequence. This is really valuable because you can nurture your prospects with high value content so they can learn about your business. So when you're sharing videos, it's important to know who clicked on your video. The way to do this is to manage your contacts. Always recommend syncing your contacts with your video content. That way when someone watches your video or clicks on a call to action, you know exactly who it was, when they did it, and if they completed the process. So if you're in sales, you probably have something that you wanna get your prospects to do, to click on the button, to book a time, to read a proposal, to sign a contract, and to wire the money. That might not be how your prospects wanna do it. They might wanna go on their own path and peruse your website and information about you and do their own research on their own time. What we always recommend is provide multiple calls to action. Give them multiple links. Give a link to your LinkedIn profile, or a case study, or another mini website, or even another video. Your prospects will feel empowered that they can make the choices to do their own research and feel like they're discovering your value props. There's also another feature that we recommend, and that's the playlist feature. The playlist feature allows you to have multiple videos that play sequentially. This way you can have short, punchy videos that people can get through and then move on to the next one to learn more about your business. Especially when you're prospecting, it's good to keep your videos short and sweet. Long, rambling videos probably won't convert very well. It's better to keep your videos between one and two minutes. It's totally okay to do a few takes. I found that second takes are usually a lot more fluid when you're sending one to one videos, people really appreciate that authentic, you know, not something that's overproduced. If you want better sound quality, you can invest in a USB microphone or a lav. But for prospecting videos, the honest truth is that the microphone built into your phone or your computer will be just fine. As long as your recipient can hear you and see you, you're doing fine. As opposed to a plain text email that's just a whole bunch of words on a page, with video, they can build that sense of camaraderie. If you're nervous in front of the camera, or if you stutter on a word, or flub a word, they might connect with you even more on that person to person level. Record the videos, send the videos, and then see the results. Thanks for watching. If you don't already subscribe to our channels on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, consider doing so. Thanks. I really do love the video format, by the way. It's super awesome. Um, I wanted to say that I appreciate the advice that you've given me. So here's to overcoming the fear and um, I'm making my first little video.